There are some questions that you can ask during a coaching session that will elevate your client to the next level. You know, the level of breakthrough doesn't always depend on the answers that we give or that we get, but it depends on the level of the question. And so in today's episode, we're going to be uncovering some top coaching questions that you can ask during your sessions that can help your client and you experience tremendous breakthroughs. Let's go. This is going to be good. Welcome to the Thrive Podcast. If you want to thrive in your life and business while keeping God first, you're in the right place. This is the show for leaders who want to leave a legacy of love, encouragement, and generosity. You want to be remembered for the way you positively impacted the lives of others and made a lasting difference. You want God to order your steps. Sometimes you just need a nudge in the right direction to take those steps. The Thrive Podcast will help you take the right steps, overcome obstacles, and equip you for the kind of success that matters to you. And now your host, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to this brand new podcast episode of The Thrive Show with yours truly, Giovanna Lady J. I'm so excited that you are here on today. Welcome in. You are in the right place. If you want to build a life and a business that you love, thrive while doing that and keeping God first in the process. I'm so delighted that you are here. Welcome in to all of you new listeners and to those of you who've been around a while. I welcome you in as well. And I'm so grateful for you. Now listen, today's podcast episode is really geared towards those of you who are coaches, business coaches, life coaches, whatever it may be. Um, I'm telling you the level of question or the level of questions that you ask during a session to a client can make all of the difference. And so we don't rise to the level of our answers. We rise to the level of our questions. And so if you start asking better questions, questions, you can start getting great, greater answers and greater results. There's a book by John Maxwell that says great leaders or good leaders ask great questions. And so I'm going to be giving you some of my favorites that I've used down through the years, as well as some others that I've just picked up recently. And so some that are just top of mind right now is what would make you more happy? What would make you more happy? What action step would make you more happy? Or what if you had in your life would make you more happy? You know, that's something we all want intrinsically as human beings is we want to be happy. And sometimes we don't always know how to achieve that thing that will make us happy. But if we can begin to help our clients brainstorm and remember, you know, as coaches, we are the guide, not the ride. That means that the answers are inside of the client. Our job is to help birth them out help them discover the truth that is already inside of them. As one of my clients likes to say, mine the gold that is already inside of you. And so what would make you more happy? And then helping you to create a plan of action to discovering that thing that would actually make you more happy. Also, another question that I love is what burden are you carrying today that you would like to lay down? And so those words carrying and lay down, right? I'm going to lay down this heavy burden. I'm going to lay down this mental overload, this weight that I'm carrying, whatever it may be. And that helps to get you in a mindset of saying, okay, yes, I want to let this go. I don't want to carry this into my next season and I want to go to the next level. All right. Another question is, and what else? Okay. And what else? That's it. Just three words. And what else? Because oftentimes when we ask a question, people only give us the surface level answer, right? So you only hear and see so much, but when you ask and what else that opens up the door to even more, uh, more breakthrough and more transformation. Uh, another question, very simply, it's one word, and that is why, why, 
Why do you believe that? Why do you feel that? Why do you desire that? Why? And you know, it's such a simple, simple question, but it's not simple <laughs> because if you start asking why often enough and frequently enough, guess what? You'll begin to uncover layers that will lead to deeper and deeper truth. And not enough people are asking why. They're simply doing the thing, but they're not asking why. And if you take time to slow down, if you take time to really uh, take the time to you know, take an inventory of why you're doing all the things in your life that you're doing. You may come to the realization that I don't need to do all of this, or you know what, I'm going to stop doing that. And I'm going to start doing this over here, or I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm going to stop this. That asking the question, why gives you the power to take time for self-reflection so that you can have the ability to know, okay, this is what I really want to be focused on and moving forward in my future. All right. Uh, Another question is, how does this challenge work for me? In other words, what does this make possible? I was uh, right when the pandemic started, I was at Target and I ran into um, I ran into um, a very successful business owner and we got into conversation. And one of the questions that I asked him was, so what do you feel that this pandemic is going to make possible for you? And he had never heard that question before. And it just got him to thinking and we got into a long conversation and wow, at the end of it, he's like, wow, thank you so much for asking that question because it helped me to uncover possibilities that I may not have otherwise uncovered, you know, this quickly or, um, you know, at this time. So ask yourself, what does this challenge make possible? You know, because if it's a challenge, guess what? A challenge is really an opportunity in disguise. (laughs) I love that. It's really an opportunity in disguise. So how can I take this challenge and turn it into something great? All right. Another question that I like to ask is if, if your situation is the same in 24 months as it is today, will that be acceptable? right? And most people say, absolutely not, right? Some things have to change. Well, if you know that you don't want to live in the same situation you are now, then what is it that needs to be changed? What is it that needs to, uh, you know, be implemented in your life? There's an app that I use, it's called Stoic, and I encourage you to check it out. But one of the things they have you do in setting your goals is before you set your goals, you start with the end in mind. Now, I'm not trying to be morbid here, but they have you write your eulogy. And so what is it that you want people to say at your home going, at your funeral? What is it? How do you want to be remembered? And you write out those answers. And so you're starting with the end in mind of how you want to live your life. And as you start with the end in mind, guess what? That makes your goals that much more crystallized because you know the path that you want to end up on. You know how you want to be remembered. It goes back to um, three of my core values. And I say these all the time. And the acronym for it is LEG, L-E-G, love, encouragement, and generosity. Those are three things that I want to be able to give on a consistent basis to those people that God places to Uh, that God puts in my life. And so you really want to start with the end in mind and say, okay, if I know I want to live by these core values, then do my goals align with my core values? And if they don't, then you know, okay, that's not something I want to be working on. That's not something that I want on my list, right? And so that's going to help give you clarity for what you want to do. Another question that I like is how many people did you serve this week? How many people did you serve this week? How did you show up in the world? Did you show up as your best self? Were you fully present or were you halfway there? When you came home uh, for dinner with your family or with your husband or with your wife and with the kids, were you really there or did you have one eye on Facebook and one eye on them? Was it really into, were were you really there? Right. And so that's going to help, you know, okay, this is, this is how I want to show up. You know, if you, if one of your goals, you know, one of your core values is, yeah, I can be there and it's okay if I'm halfway present. But if you know that you're not okay with that, then you know, some things that you need to change, you know, um, uh, build in block times so that you have blocks of time where you all you are all in on Facebook or social media, whatever platform that you're on. Right. That's an, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're done with that time, OK, 
time to turn it off, time to turn the phone over, or time to close that app. And now I'm going to be all in with my family. Now I'm going to be all in with my mom, whatever it may be. One of the things I love about my mom is, you know, she hates for me to text and drive, of course, and in many states that's illegal anyway. But I remember, you know, um, I remember when she got diagnosed with cancer and we just celebrated her five year anniversary of being cancer free to God be the glory. Oh, God is so gracious. God is so good. He is so faithful. Hallelujah. I give him glory. But during that process, I made a decision right then and there. I said, Oh no, mm -mm. I'm not going to be trying to uh, keep one eye on email, one eye on social media and one eye on what my mama is talking about. No, I treasure her. I love her her. And I want to cherish this time that I have with her. So email, you can wait. Uh, social media, you can wait. All this other stuff can wait right now. I'm going to be all in with her. Right. And so whatever your priorities are, make sure that your goals align with that. All right. Um, mm, here's another question. Now I don't have this one in my notes. I just thought about it. This question is, um, if you were looking back on this decision two years from now, would you be glad that you made this choice? Now, that's a great question for you to ask yourself or to you, for you to ask your client if you're not sure on what decision to make. Okay, let me say it again. If you were looking back on this decision, right, two years from today or five years, you put in whatever the time, Will you be glad you had made that decision? Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say you're just starting a workout plan and you are struggling to get to the gym one morning, right? And you are kind of, you're contemplating in your head whether you should go to the gym or whether you should go to IHOP for breakfast, <laughs> right? Hey, I love a good stack of pancakes too. But if you are on, if you have a goal, right, to get in shape or to lose a certain amount of weight, then ask yourself the question now, you know, a year from now, am I going to be glad that I pushed through whatever uh, anxiety or whatever laziness? Am I going to be glad that I pushed through and went on ahead and got my workout in? Or am I going to be glad that I got lazy and, you know, decided to eat, you know, a double stack of pancakes instead, right? <laughs> so that's a great way for you to gauge. Now, listen, sometimes, hey, I've got both hands up. Sometimes a good pancake day is in order and it's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> but other times, hey, you've got to have your goals aligned with who you want to become and push and do that thing that is uncomfortable. All right, just a few more here because I've got a long list of these. And consequently, if you would like my list of top coaching questions, just feel free to reach out to me at Javana.com. Get on the email list there and I'm happy to send you one of these so that you can help expand your business to the next level. Okay, um, what has hindered your progress in this area in the past? What has hindered your progress in this area in the past. So, you know, oftentimes if people are struggling with something, they, they've, they've oftentimes hit a wall in that area before. And if you can identify how you hit that wall or what happened to let you hit that wall, then we can begin to build a plan of action to help you come up with a plan to move past that in the future. All right. Another question is what do you really want? What do you really want? And here's the truth. A lot of times people don't know what they want, but they do know what they don't want. So that's another way to back into that question by saying, okay, what don't you want? What, you know, what's an absolute non-negotiable, you know, thing that you are just not willing to put up with. And in doing that, you can then come out back and ask the question, what are you willing to do differently in order to move forward. What are you willing to do differently in order to move forward? Those two words, willing and then differently, meaning that, okay, I know what I want, or at least I know what I don't want. And here's what I'm willing to do differently in order to move to a place that I want to be at. All right. I'm going to stop there because these were a lot of questions, but just take a couple, just take maybe one or two and begin to use them in some of your sessions. Or if you don't have sessions, maybe if you're even not a coach, start asking some of your friends these or, or even better yet, 
Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Start asking yourself these questions and then begin writing them down. If you don't have a journal practice, make sure that you start implementing that so that you are able to go back and see how much you've grown. I'm not saying you have to do it every single day, right? Because life happens. Hello, somebody. (laughs) But there are times when you can just write down little by little and you can see your progress. Remember, some of the best things grow slowly over time. This is not a race. Take time to really process your thoughts so that you can get to the point where you say, you know what? I'm so glad I took time with those questions because they helped me to become a better version of myself. They helped me to become more happy. And isn't that what we're all after? Happiness? Isn't that what we all want? We want to be happy. We want to thrive. We want to love, show encouragement, generosity, all these things. Yes, we do. And in order to get to that place, we need to take time for self-evaluation and reflection because the reward is in the reflection to see how much you've grown, to see how much you've thrived over time. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. Ah, Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm so grateful for you. Listen, be sure you go to Javana.com, sign up for your complimentary life class there called Thriving Through Transitions. It's yours free because I believe in you and it's my investment in you as well. Just go to Javana.com. That's J-E-V like victory, O-N-N-A-H.com. And let me say this as well. If you feel like you need more one-on-one expert coaching, if you would like to be around a group of high achievers to help elevate your business to the next level, elevate your life to the next level, I invite you to submit an application for my high level mastermind. You can get all the details at javana.com forward slash mastermind. We go deeper with less and we actually help one another in the point to helping you get the kind of results that you want to get in your life, but also holding you accountable to these questions that we asked on today so that you can experience the kind of success that God has truly called for you to do and to be. Thank you so much for tuning in today, my friends. Remember where God guides, God provides and where God directs, God protects. We'll see you next time. It's your time. Are you a coach, entrepreneur, or leader? Are you someone who wants to keep God first in your business? Well then, it's your time to shine. Join the exclusive mastermind of world-class leaders inside Thrive, led by Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Get ready to clarify your purpose, amplify your strengths, and thrive financially from what you already know. Sign up today at Giovanna.com. That's J-E-V-O-N-N-A-H.com.